I told her I'd help her tell the story. So I want to ask her questions. Is... So y'all have heard, many of you have heard the hard things we went through last year, November, December. But in September, this girl had something happen. It started when? Like on a Friday, you came home in September? What happened? Oh. I was coming home from school on the bus, and um, I knew I did not feel good. I was very achy and tired, and I knew I, knew I was sick. So she gets off the school bus about four in the afternoon on a Friday, which is a bad time for your kid to be sick, and says, I don't feel good, I feel achy. And I knew as a mama that didn't mean allergies, that achy was a bad word. And so what did we do? We drove where? CVS. <laughs> hey, what, do we do? what do we do? We got a COVID test and we took it in the car and it was positive. Because we needed to know, right? Like if, if she was all contagious and stuff. And so then what do we do? Went home and I quarantined in my room. Yeah, so early evening Friday, there was no doctor's office open. We knew she had COVID. We went home. We stuck her in her room. Not really. We lovingly put her there with all the things she needed. When we quarantine, we quarantine, right? And so um, the rule was what? Don't come out. <laughs> and so what kind of symptoms did you have? I had a fever, a bit of cough and mucus and and then I was sore and very tired so all the all the icky symptoms she had so the evening goes on she goes to sleep and what did your dad tell you if you need something like an emergency you can come and get me but don't touch me <laughs> we didn't want her germs but we love her and so what then happened? Uh, at, at like five o'clock in the morning, I was, I was still dreaming, but like, it's like it turned off, like when you turn off a TV and then I couldn't hear and there was ringing in my ears. And then all of a sudden I woke up and I was breathing hard and I, I thought I had died or something for like a second and it, I don't know. <laughs> So you had this crazy thing happen. Thought it was a dream. You had been dreaming. It felt like you were turned off. Is that crazy? Yes. Felt like she had been turned off. And then back on. Back on. And woke up with her heart like racing. So she knew something was, it was not a normal dream. Yes? So what did you do? I got him. <laughs> He says that he woke up at 5 a.m. with her standing over him, and he's like, why are you, why are you near me? <laughs> and so you told him what had happened. And what did he say? Uh, if you feel good, you can go back to sleep, but if not, I guess you can watch some TV. Because, you know, when your child wakes you up, what feels like the middle of the night, if you're a parent or you've ever been woken up, you're like, okay, is everything fine? Can we go back to sleep? Okay, I love you, cool. And that's what it was in that moment. What do we begin to realize later? Um, later, I didn't, like, I think the fever broke that day, and I wasn't as tired, and I was more peppy, and I didn't look sick. What I notice as a mom is, hmm, there's, there's, the symptoms are, they're not there. And the Lord began to speak to us and reveal like this wasn't a dream. She didn't die, praise the Lord. But what did we realize it was? Uh, God had healed me. Could you hear that? God had healed her. And for what I realized, and I was, I'm, I'm a little more you know, expressive than her, if you can't tell. Um, I was like, do you know what God has done? You had an encounter. And her words to me were, do you remember? She, I remember she said, it took me a couple of days, but I figured it out. <laughs> she realized she had encountered the Lord in a supernatural way. 
And then after that point, she had no more symptoms. COVID didn't just leave, you know, after like less than 24 hours of being sick. And if you've ever had it, it, it on its own, it takes longer. And uh, we experienced in our home a miracle healing that day. Yes. Anything else? That's it. <laughs> we praise the Lord for that. Amen. Amen.